Okay. Okay. So, uh, the next question that we got today is that is asking, what is the weight in pounds, LBS, uh, of a 75 kilogram person? Okay. Um, key word here is weight. Weight, a minute, weight is not equal to mass. This is a force. This is, well, it's a mass. Okay, they are not the same. Weight and mass, like, so we mostly say in in looser English explanations, um, we don't really, we can kind of use the two words interchangeably, but if you're in a physics type context, the precision of the language that you use matters a lot more. So weight is the force caused by gravity, caused by gravity acceleration. And mass, well, that's just like some inherent property about something. Okay, so if we have a, um, a mass of 75 kilograms, so our M value, our mass is 75 kilograms, and we're here on Earth, so um, our acceleration is um, 9.8 meters per second squared okay and we're using meters because we want to get a force in newtons and then we're going to convert newtons to pound force okay well we're going to call up our friend isaac newton and we're going to ask him for his second law which is f equals m a the f in this case is the weight Okay, so uh, to find that out, well, we just do 75 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared. And let's ask my handy calculator, what is that uh, result? So 75 times 9.8. I get equals a nice and even 735 newtons. Now, what we got to do is we got to convert to pounds, and we're going to ask our friend Wikipedia for the nice conversion. So, um, one LBF, LBF meaning LB for pound, F to specify that it's a force, and it's asking for weight, uh, is, um, or one Newton, is this many pound forces. Okay, so um, here we can say that we have um, or, or we can use this number instead and because we want to have um, one pound force on the top. So the ratio between a pound force and a uh, Newton is one LB is equal to um, 4.4482 newtons. Okay, and this is our conversion factor. And we are going to incorporate these two like so. Okay, so we're going to multiply um, these two terms together. So 735 newtons multiplied by 1 over 4.44822 newtons, or 1 LB on top. And let's uh, take a look at what happens. You see the newtons, the units for u newtons up here? That gets neutralized with the units for newtons down here. So the only unit the only units that are left is just the LB and uh, well we got to do the math so 735 divide that by 4.44822 4 
two two. And the result of that math is a hundred and sixty five uh, point twenty three pounds. Okay, so that, that would be our final answer for the weight in pounds. It's for 75 kilograms. You have to be very careful. You have to look for keywords like, um, like weight is always a force. So that kind of suggests that we're gonna be looking for the LB for like pound force. Okay, um, here, um, I guess uh, they came to a slightly different conclusion, which could mean, this could be a rounding error, but um, I'll say that answer should mention um, difference between weight and mass convert the mass to a force and get the result and um, convert the weight force into um, pounds as units of force. Okay, so 